Hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars Buildable Figures review in my very first for 2018. And you wonder, like, how did you get these so early? Well, I actually got them at my nearby Toys R Us and all. So, they got, and these of which are Boba Fett and the new version of Darth Vader. So on the front of the box you see LEGO, LEGO, Star Wars LEGO. And then picture of the set that comes within. And then Disney logo, built the figures logo, and then the age group, set number, name, and the amount of pieces. And then on one side is some nice graphics of them, like always. And then on the back is other pictures of them and how tall they are and all the features. There's, but it doesn't advertise the other ones of them on each other's boxes, which. If someone knows that, tell in the comments. And on to the booklets. Same picture as on the front and everything. So it's Boba Fett's win on the online survey. Ad for Lingo Life. Ad for Darth Vader. And class building steps and all the pieces. And Vader. Kind of the same. All these pieces included, the uh, like a life app, and the uh, and then Boba Fett, and the last building steps as well. Okay, now to the sets themselves. Starting off with highly anticipated Boba Fett, since of course we have, have been asking for a Boba Fett figure for quite a while. So, for start off from the ground up, well, the Legs of which just about as simple as Star Wars figures can get, but on this light gray color, which is quite good for mocking. But the and what's different is the uh, leg pieces, Jingar pieces have some nice cool printing on them, accurate to the films and all. But yeah, and then just like what Darth Vader will have, and what they also kind of did previously was add these like system pieces to the sides to look like uh, pauldrons then on one arm of like and as you see has his little cape like bandana thing with some holes in it with just about accurate as it is and the arms of which just about symmetrical like with the like uh like gray and then Finally, dark red, which doesn't appear very often, but good to get. And also, just like Jango Fett's, has a little dark on the side and all. And the gun of which built very interestingly. Just the same exact one as all the other figures get, but with a little Technic panel piece, probably to be like an extra part of it. And then uh, tell in the comments, were these hand pieces ever used in this uh, dark gray color? Because I think it's new to him. And the chest plate of which just about really well captures Django Fett's. Like with the belt and the braided tails, ponytails and everything. And don't know if you noticed this. The small uh, armor pieces, but in sand green, which of course great for mocking. And the shoulder pieces just the same as other ones, but one of which has the Mandalorian symbol, which uh, Jango Fett needed. But that's but that's always all right. And the head piece of which, uh, let me get it all around. So the head piece of which almost like Jango Fett's, but more detailing, but the antenna brick build and box says it's adjustable and all. And then the, to the back of which, so there's, which, what's quite different than Jenga Fets is that there's Technic beams and these column things to the sides and, and you can get it off, just like Jenga Fets and all. So now on to do a little comparison with the Django Fett figure from 2018 or 2015 
So as you can see, he's just a little bit taller. And also the same dark not put in black compared to gold. And the backpacks are quite different. Like he has some more pieces to be the backpack. Which of course is good. But the antenna on Boba is brick built. And a little larger than Django's. If anyone knows why, tell so. But hey, at least we got both vets here. But that's not, which of course is good. And now on to the main Sith Lord, Darth Vader. And he, of which, really cool. Or extra cool. So starting out with the legs. Just about quite the same, almost, well, kind of similar to that of Chewbacca's, but with the, like, Shingar pieces, but in the back, but, but doubled this time around, but also the, like, like uh, thigh pieces, but, but twice, like, upper ones of which have the, like, different printings to them, and what the previous version didn't have before was this, like, uh, lower uh, cloak part, which is kind of which kind of works with him, and just like what Boba Fett had is these little, little printed system things to the side, and the chest plate of which in two pieces, regular lower piece and the normal armor piece, but with some printings to them, just like which Vader tr traditionally has. And then, unlike the previous version of Vader, has the like regular shoulder pad pieces, but up above, and also like that, but armor pieces, but a little smaller. And the lightsaber held in this new chrome silver color, and it's only like one more higher than the last one. Back of which is a gear sticking out for what? The gear functions. Like all the last Bionicle sets had. And look, yeah, not much, but just a couple of Technic panels all around. Like if I take this off, then you can kind of make it out that it's kind of an all out Technic in there. Along with the gear box. Oh, whoops. And then on to with the helmet. Or, I mean, well, the cape part of which now has a chain on it, which let me get some. Which, of course, is a common thing with Vader. But the helmet of which. Kind of well captures Vader, Darth Vader. I see with the venting and stuff. And now, I lift it up. Like in Return of the Jedi, is, and here's that, the unmasked face. Which I think well captures the Return of the Jedi version. Like all around some like scarring from Episode 3. Uh, Revenge of the Sith. Same with that. And also those little things down by the ear, which of course are what clip on to something in the helmet. So three Revenge of the Sith. And so now on to with a little comparison. So like here is the last Darth Vader from 2015, and as you can see, he's quite a little bit taller, quite taller than the last one, and the helmet of which a little bigger because of the like removable helmet part, which the last one does not one solid piece. And the chest plate of which 
has all the same exact printings to them, but it converted like all one piece instead of two few separate pieces to that. And they're both like all out technic torso pieces. So if you like have this original version, then no need to get this one. Well, unless if you want it for pieces and stuff. Or if you didn't get this one yet, then you can go ahead and get this one. Oh, and a little thing to kind of talk about is that if you don't know if you can tell, the lightsaber hilts are a little bit more bright silver than dark silver, which I think is like much better. I think the chrome is a little better, it gives some more realisticness to it. And now, on to a, a little comparison, or I mean the final verdict of him and Boba Fett. And so, for my overall verdict on these, uh, these I think pretty good buildable figures, and really it's good to be the first all, all around to review these checked online all over and nobody else reviewed them and I guess I'm the first but yeah whatever well by the time of this video I feel like it but yeah and if you are looking to continue your collection of the Star Wars buildable figures then go out and get these well at least both have good mocking pieces and if you want them for pieces to mock with then go ahead and get them and that's it with this video and see you all in the next video please like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching